This is the enzyme acetylcholinesterase. It is responsible for the breakdown of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. The reaction that cleaves acetylcholine is made possible by three very important amino acid residues that are collectively known as the catalytic triad. These amino acids lie deep within the protein. We will look at a cutaway of the enzyme to take a closer look. The catalytic triad is found here at the bottom of a gorge 20 angstroms deep. It is composed of glutamate, histidine, and serine. The active site for the reaction is on serine, where an oxygen is loosely bonded with a hydrogen. This hydrogen also shares a partial bond with histidine at times. Here is the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Serine will bind to this carbon here to initiate the reaction. At completion, the products of the reaction will be acetate and choline. Hydrophobic aromatic residues line the gorge containing the catalytic triad. These residues pull acetylcholine into the enzyme and position it into a reactive orientation. Acetylcholine enters the active site gorge of the enzyme and serine binds to the carbon of the neurotransmitter. Here we also see the transfer of the hydrogen from the active site serine to the neurotransmitter. As the oxygen on acetylcholine bonds to the hydrogen from serine, the intramolecular bond breaks. At this point, the remaining acetate molecule is still bound to serine, while the choline is free to diffuse away. Although we are not showing it, water molecules are ubiquitous within all the empty spaces around the other molecules. We will reveal one of the water molecules now. Water is important because it completes the reaction and releases the leftover acetate from the acetylcholinesterase active site serine. Releasing this adduct will return the catalytic triad to its original active state, ready to cleave more acetylcholine. Water moves into place and donates a proton to serine. The bond between this carbon on acetate with serine breaks, and acetate forms a new bond with the oxygen from the water molecule. This releases the acetate molecule from the active site. Both acetate and choline diffuse away from the enzyme, which is now restored to its initial active state. 